Army Boot Camp. Before they join the United States Army, all recruits have to graduate from a 22-week program known as One Station Unit Training, also known as OSIT. It happens here at Fort Benning, a 182,000-acre military installation that straddles the Alabama-Georgia border about 100 miles southwest of Atlanta. Every year, more than 18,000 soldiers graduate before joining the more than 470,000 people actively serving in the Army. 13, 14, 15. Although most of the recruits that we saw during our time there were male, recruits trained together in gender-integrated platoons. These young men and women that volunteer to serve, they show up to us as civilians, and then we take them through a transformative process to turn them into soldiers. Let's go to the position of attention, and you stay in position of attention. On a rain-soaked week in February, we spent four days inside the Army's Maneuver Center of Excellence, which trains soldiers to serve in the infantry and armor branches. We saw different companies at various stages of training. On day one, new infantry recruits on a bus from the Atlanta airport arrive at the 30th AG Battalion headquarters, where all new recruits are received. unwanted physical contact in a sexual nature. So if you put your hands on another individual and you're not instructed to or you're not saving their life and they file a sexual assault and it comes down that you put your hands on this individual when you weren't supposed to, that is going to be on you. You'll get kicked out of the military and you'll probably have to file as a registered sex offender. Do you understand? Yes, Before they go inside, the new recruits learn some basic commands and standing positions. Everyone look down at their toes. You should be able to fit a slice of pizza in between your toes. If you look around, they're gonna see you. Cause you're taller than everyone else! Quickly! Move on up to the door! Move your feet! Grab one and go, it's all the same! The recruits grab the snack that's waiting for them inside, consisting of a fruit cup, sunflower seeds, a granola bar, and a juice box. Watch the video for Sun. Since 1775, the Army has been the bearer of our nation's strength in every crisis or conflict. Make no mistake about it, the journey you are embarking upon will not be easy. But you wouldn't be here if we didn't think we couldn't meet the challenge. Listen up, your last four years social. After being welcomed, recruits begin what's known as processing, which can take one to two weeks before their actual training begins. First, they're given one last chance to discreetly dispose of prohibited contraband like drugs, alcohol, tobacco, and inappropriate photographs. If any photo you possess on your phone is less than a baby, you will not have it. You will delete it. Uniforms. 
receive a series of immunizations and vaccines and get their official photo taken, along with myriad housekeeping details that fill up their one to two week stay in processing. Hey, sit up straight. That is until processing ends and the time for training finally arrives. We found a company of recruits about to begin training in the armor school. Who's a bridal? These recruits are about to be picked up and taken to their barracks, where they'll reside for the rest of their training. Let's go, you guys are going to the front bus, go! This is the last chance for recruits to change their minds before training begins, like one recruit who decided to stay behind. This short bus ride from processing to their new barracks will be the most peaceful moments these recruits will experience for a while. What happens next is known as the shark attack. Run! Run! Back out of the you want? You want run! You won't run! Everyone, you freaking go! Go! Run! 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 Get your bags up right now! Get your bags up no, this no, way! Well, it's really just a little shock to the system so we can break them down and build them back up. We're breaking a lot of habits uh, from the civilian world and nothing better than a little shock to the system to establish that that drill sergeant is in charge to let us start our training. We're much of the shark attack Things do appear to calm down. It's a video. Oh, is, it? is it a video? It's a movie. Oh. Movie, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Three, four, seven. I always yeah. wanted to be a star. We found this group of infantry soldiers in week 11 of their training, practicing on the firing range. The mood was much more relaxed. Try to get eight of them. <laughs> and their conversations with their drill sergeants are conducted at normal volumes. Like when this drill sergeant educated the recruits on the meaning of the military expression, ate up. It's a piece of ate up gum good. You don't want something that's ate up, right? You want something fresh, you break the seal, it smells like oil of Olay, right? Okay. That dynamic changes because we want the soldiers to become more critical thinkers. At that point, we are turning into more coaches and mentors. We dial it back a little bit. So we don't want them frightened. We want them to be comfortable and in a state of mind that is receptive to learning and performing at that moment. Up to 241 hours of infantry OSINT are devoted to marksmanship, where recruits fire about 2,500 rounds using the M4 carbine as well as the M249 Squad Automatic Weapon, or SAW. We create lethality, we create expert marksmen at their individual weapons, because as an infantry soldier, that's what we're asking them to do. Recruits get one of the most painful parts of training out of the way early. Once we check your seal, you will not touch your ProMat. This group of infantry recruits is exposed to CS gas, tear gas, in week one of their training. We're going to continue to pile in until we tell you to stop. You're going to place your back against the wall. The recruits spend about five minutes inside the gas
trying to teach them to uh, achieve a dominant body position. Get out of one negative position and switch roles so they end up having a better fight. During combatives training, recruits warm up with a particularly painful looking exercise referred to as the EO. While laying on their backs, they have to engage their core to wiggle across the entire room. They use their momentum, shoulder blades, their, their core to help them create space, warm up the body. Recruits work up a major appetite during training. But Fort Benning is big, and they're not always within range of the dining facility. When they're training in the field, recruits are issued MREs, which stands for Meal Ready to Eat. Each comes with an entree, like this vegetarian pasta with taco sauce, along with an assortment of items, like mixed fruit, an energy bar, and this instant French vanilla cappuccino. Recruits just add water, shake it up, and enjoy. Once they're fortified, recruits return to their training. Recruits spend up to 60 hours in training known as MOUT, which stands for Military Operations in Urban Terrain. Infantrymen are expected to fight in different types of terrain and survive and win the fight. Right now, they are getting their first taste of uh, what that's like in an urban environment. Rolling tea. All right, coming up. In uh, operations across Afghanistan, Iraq, we are conducting clearance operations and uh, it's applicable wherever we go. It's important for the future soldiers' muscle memory because they are working as a team with minimal communication and understanding how that coordination works together. After 22 weeks of training, these infantrymen are ready to leave Fort Benning. Friends and family gather and watch their soldiers graduate in a way